In this assessment, we're asked to suggest a mechanism by which IPP and DPP, both containing five carbons, would combine to make Farnesol. I've gone ahead and drawn the structure on the screen of both IPP and DPP, and we're going to kind of show a shorthand of what this mechanism is going to look like, and then we'll look at the whole thing as a, as a already drawn structure. But essentially what we know is that DPP represents a good electrophile in these reactions because this group can leave to make a relatively stable carbocation. And so in order to make a 15 carbon molecule from two 5 carbon molecules, we're going to have to combine them. But when we make this carbocation, which is a good electrophile, now the IPP alkene can attack that positive charge. That's going to create our new carbon-carbon bond, and that's proceeding by an identical electrophilic addition mechanism that's the topic of this whole chapter. Let's look at the the whole scheme then and show how essentially this that we've illustrated here is basically what's happening here. So in the first step, we're making the stable carbocation. That carbocation is being attacked by a nucleophilic alkene to give us this intermediate here. We're reforming the double bond that once again allows this to be a good leaving group to make another resonance stabilized carbocation. This resonance stabilized carbocation is then attacked by another alkene to get here, elimination, and then the reaction continues with eventually water acting as the nucleophile to replace that group through the, once again, resonance stabilized carbocation. It might be worth your time to pause on this screen and, and, and look through that mechanism on your own, but essentially it's this, make a good electrophile, and then that electrophile is attacked by a nucleophilic alkene. Any reactions that, that don't make a lot of sense right now will eventually, for sure.